Hey y'all, CB here at MBS Welding. So what we got going on today, uh, got a buddy that's got a, a Kubota mower. I believe it's a, I haven't seen the machine yet. They've got it up there at his shop and they've got it torn down. I believe it is like a rear steer style mowing machine. Uh, in the front of it, underneath the engine, they've got the engine out of it right now. In the front of it, underneath the engine, there was some cracking. And those guys welded it up a while back. Uh, they did it theirself. And there's been some more cracking. Uh, stuff that holds the frame together, it needs some more work. Now, he found in his research that there's an entire front section of structural frame that at one time you could purchase for one of those machines and cut off what's there and replace it all at this point there or this age of the machine or whatever that part is now obsolete but what they do offer is a gusset kit that can be welded onto the frame uh, with what he's got there, which would fix the problem as same as the other part, and obviously that's why he got a hold of me. Um, we're going to be going up there. I've got the Arc Captain MiG 200 loaded up in the Super Service truck. I've got a tank of 75-25 gas. Uh, hopefully I've got enough of that. And I've got my I've got my adapter that allows me to run the yard captain off of 220. Here we are. Get ready to fix this Kubota. Let me show you the adapter here I got set up for the arc captain. We're plugged into the 240 right there. The other end of that, this box right here. Plugged into the 100 foot cord 10 gauge. The Arc Captain MiG 200, I've got a tank of 7525 Arc on CO2 mix. And here is the Kubota F3680. So this is a rear steer mower. And the structural issues they've dealt with in the past, this had broke and they welded it. This broke right here and they welded it. Uh, stuff has happened a couple times so clearly there's a structural issue with this area of, of these machines so what they found was at one point you could purchase I'm dropping everything at one point you could purchase an entire assembly where all of this would go gone get cut off be eliminated and it would be put in here and welded uh, you can't get those now so if you've got one of these and you want to fix it you need to buy you need to either make or buy a kit like this and what this kit is they've got you a gusset right here like that same thing on this side like that there's a piece right here like that and this now what they want you to do going by their constructions They want you to cut these out, cut that out, cut that out, replace it with this entire piece. And that's not a bad idea, but it's more work than necessary. I'm going to be cutting this off right here and right here and welding this piece to that and that. Uh, I have 100% faith that that's a faster, easier way to do just as good of a job. So that's what we're going to do on that. So we're doing that part a little different than they said. 
This will go right here and it can get welded to this, to this. The instructions say there's a five millimeter overlap there. This gets welded in and that gets welded in. And, and there's places here where I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be getting some paint off, grinding some paint off. And I've got some stuff uh, where I can get this in there. I'll just use a regular grinding wheel. Uh, I'm gonna be using a cutting wheel to cut that one piece. And if I need to grind paint in a place that I can't get this, I'm gonna use this uh, end grinder with a burr bit. Got the Arc Captain MiG 200 with 030 wire. Gas is hooked up, so let's do it. Something to think of, a lot of places you go, especially uh, in the summer, they're gonna have a fan running. There's a lot of fans in shops that makes it a lot more comfortable, but remember, if you're gonna be MiG welding, turn that off. You can't have that fan blowing your shield gas away, cause you a problem.